hello everyone my name is arohi and welcome to my channel so guys in this video i'll talk about chat gpt open ai recently released chat gpt which is an amazing chatbot and it is a variant of gpt3 language model that is specially designed to generate text in a conversational style it is trained on large data set of dialogues and conversations so that it is able to generate responses that are appropriate and relevant in the context of that conversation. This language model can do various tasks like answering questions, assist you with tasks such as composing emails, essays, it will help you in writing code, it can reject inappropriate requests, right? And moreover, it remembers previous texts so user can ask follow-up questions also. So in my today's video, I'll show you how we can use this chat GPT. So guys, this chat GPT got released on 30th November this year only. So after that, this is a this is a free tool. You just need to log in, you go to their website, log in and you can start using it. Now let's ask different kind of questions to this chat GPT and let's see what kind of results, what kind of replies we get. OK, so let's start. So you'll see over here. So this is this kind of prompt you'll get. OK. So I asked this question, write a sick leave email and send it to my boss, Andy. And this is the reply which I got from this email, uh, from the chat GPT. So you can see this email looks like a very, you know, um, this email is resembling a handwritten, a human written uh, text, right? This is how we write email and this is the way this chatbot is also writing. Uh, okay, so let's see what it gets. Dear Andy, so over here I have mentioned that my boss is Andy. So, dear Andy, I'm writing to this, and you'll see this entire email like this. After that, I've written make it more formal. So, now you can see what what is happening. It is a follow up question, right? So, in my previous email, I have written like write a email sick uh, mail to my boss, and in my next email, I'm writing make it more formal. So, from my previous text, it is getting an idea what I'm talking about, and then it write this email again in a more formal way. So, you'll see over here we have a dear Andy, and after making it more formal, so it's Mr. Andy, and in this line it added this and make it more formal okay so this is how in the same way you can get help from chat gpt in writing your essays or articles on different topics okay so this is the one feature now let's ask when guys whenever we write some code we face lots of errors so with the help of this chat gpt you can get help in solving your errors so let's ask few paste few errors over here and let's see how chat gpt gives us replies for that okay so i'm just copying few errors which i got in my comment section which some users asked me so this is one of the error attribute error function object has no attribute predict so i'm pasting this error over here and let's see what we get So guys, you can see that for this question, for this error, we are getting the whole detail. First, it is telling us what this error is and to fix this error, these are the steps and then it is showing us the example also how we can solve it. Okay, so this is one, um, one reply. Now let's ask a different error. So this time I'm asking this error so this error I'm asking so let's see what we get in this case so what what is our question that I'm using this and I have a wait file and I want to create a configuration file how to do that okay so it is telling us to create a configuration file these are the steps you have to follow see one by one it is showing us all the steps So this is the first step and then the second step then you have to do this 
so you can see how detailed answers we are getting so with the help of this chart gpt you can you know get help from this chart gpt until it's you know right now it's free anybody can use it so you can take advantage of it and you can try to solve your errors using it so this is the answer which our chat uh, chart gpt is giving us okay now let's ask another question same type of error different error so this time we are asking array index out of bound error so now first it is telling us what this error indicates and then to fix this error now it will um, show us the steps how we can um, solve this error and then we are getting the example over here right so you can see like in a very detailed way it is uh, uh, showing us a solution to solve a problem right so now let's try something else now okay let's ask a different kind of question to this board let's finish it first so you can see it's a very detailed answer which we are getting okay so now it's finished okay now let's ask this question can you show me how to backflip so it is giving us a detailed explanation on that also like um, how you can perform a backflip right so let's ask this some kind of question like what do you think about emotions now we'll ask this question to the board okay okay what do you think about emotions let's ask this question so now <coughs> it is saying as a language model i do not have the ability to experience or express emotions i'm not capable of having opinions or feelings about emotions or any other topic for that matter uh, so it's giving us an answer in a very you know in a way like we people do right now let's see how how this uh, chat gpt is able to give us uh replies which resemble so much with the human replies that is because it is trained on this chat gpt is trained on uh, you know on top of gpt3 and using supervised learning and reinforcement learning right so chat gpt was fine tuned on top of gpt3.5 using uh, this supervised learning and reinforcement learning and for both the approaches they used human trainers to improve the model performance so uh, what i'm trying to say is like for example in the case of supervised learning the model was provided with the conversations in which the human trainers played both the roles the user and the ai assistant means user the human human trainer is typing as a uh, talking as a human also and human trainer is replying back as ai assistant so for both for human for user and from this ai assistant side from both the side human beings uh, human trainers were writing the conversation human beings were uh, talking to each other and they recorded those conversations and then they trained the model on it okay so in this supervised learning part they did this and in the reinforcement learning step human trainers first ranked the responses that model had created in the previous conversation they ranked all those conversation and then these rankings were used to create reward models so that is why this chat gpt is giving us reply which resembles so much with you know so much with humans right the way we people reply back in the way, in the same way we are getting replies from the chat gpt and the reason behind is they have used this supervised learning and the reinforcement learning and for both the models for these both things they are using human trainers and human trainers are acting as a users also and human trainers are conversating from the ai assistant sides also and that is how they make it work so i hope 
you like the video and that's it guys thank you for watching